Hello everybody, my name is Cesar and welcome back to Cesar Plays For You. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my loadouts for this patch. Let's begin. The Predator's Mark build that I have. Uh, basically, with critical chance I have. Uh, here you could have a DR, Isotic Time Resistance. Okay, I have all the mod fires with critical chance. My mask. My knee pads with critical damage. My backpack too, hit, hit damage, and all the mods are... Ah, look, here I have a stamina with hit, hit chance. I forgot about this. Pulse hit, hit chance. All the mods. My gloves. And my knee pads. I'm using uh, MDR and Light Wooden 4. The MDR with hit, hit damage. So I have a vicious, deadly, and distracted. And this is how I have modded. Here you will want a mod with kick hit damage, headshot damage, and uh, kick hit chance. And my light weapon 4 with Vicious deadly responsive. And this is how I have it modded. Okay, let's continue now. Yeah, and I'm probably gonna change to the blue pistol to get who headed. So, now let's see my Hunter's Fate build. Enemy armor damage, health, ammo capacity, this is what I have. Fire mode with kit hit chance, all of them. Kit hit chance on the mask. Health. I'm trying to get still better knee pads. Health here again. And all the performance mode at pulse kit hit chance. My gloves. For Marshmallow Rifle and my holster. So now let's get in a look into the weapon. I have Deadly, Discipline, Brutal, very nice discipline. Mine's in size, here I have on the standard magazine, as on all the weapons. And this is goes more for headshot damage. Later I'm using a house, the reason I changed the weapon is because it's better for close quarter combat. So, but I still need a better house because I'm not able to use Vicious. So for now I will want to have deadly and responsive for close quarter combat. Or dead or responsive and unforgiving. And my blue pistol with Q-header. Now let's see my Striker build that I use for Daxon. So I have skill case, health, ammo capacity, as you can see. Some stamina mods with kick hit chance. I think I have one with, uh, I think, with firearms, I think. Yeah, here it is. Firearms with hit hit chance. And all the performance mods are with pulse hit hit chance. My backpack with health and resistance. My gloss for the assault rifle damage. My artifacts with skill hit chance on my holster, as you can see. Still not that mindset. And these are my weapons. Responsive, deadly, and forgiving for the first Lag 4. But this is a bug. No, here it is. This is a weapon that I'm using for this one. Visual bug or something. My other like when four for more normal damage and for giving responsive competent with headshot damage. So we could say this striker bill is my updated one. I'm not using 9k anymore. This is what I, I use now. Now for my nomad bill with the house, I will show you first the weapons. Dead the vicious card counter. This is all for hit damage. And my light weapon 4 is the one with vicious deadly responsive. And this weapon goes for kit hit damage too. Here I should change this for kit hit chance. It's an old build and I didn't change it, so I have to. So this is my best of nomad. 
this is an old one, still need to change that. You could want to have give hit chance. Or exotic damage resistance to deal more with the predator mark users. Still need to optimize this build. But I don't usually use this build. Prefer to use a Striker or now I'm playing more with a Hunter set on last stand. The blue pistol with cool headed. And now let's continue with my Ficus build. This build is better for use the for PvE than, rather than PvP. The whole set is more for PvE than PvP, in theory. Because there's a lot of people who use adrenaline or they use immunizers. So you will want skill haste so you can get your heal faster. Skill power on the mask, knee pads, and on the backpack, I think you have. But here I have health. No, skill power. Stamina. Inventive. To get more power with the. With the turret. Yeah, that's pretty much all. I wanted to make this build more for turret damage rather than using the 6 piece. Because in theory, I wanted to make this more for PvP, trying to make more damage for the turret. But in the end, I'm not using it very much this way. No. My defense build, one of my favorites. I really enjoy this build. For real. Skill case, health, ammo capacity. All the mods, well, uh, there are different mods with balance with skill power and skill haste. Skill power, bone resistance. Stamina with kill hit chance. Skill power, ballistic shield, damage resistance are all the performance mods. Kill hit damage on my backpack to do a little bit more damage. My gloves. My holster with reload speed. And this is the main weapon that I use in the house with Deadly, Vicious and Hard Counter. And all goes for kit hit damage, all the mods. You could use Unforgiving if you want. And this is my other weapon for farming NPCs. Sustain, Predatory and Determined. But if you want to get the old faster, you could use the, the, the blue pistol with cool header. And I think that's pretty much all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe for more videos, games, and builds. And remember, guys, these are place for you. Until next time.